Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the concept of overloading of binary operator in C++. Binary operator is a operator that operate on two operands. In binary operator overloading function, there should be one argument to be passed. It is the overloading of an operator operating on two operands. Let's see the code for overloading of binary operator plus and minus. First of all, we have a class complex. Complex is the name of the class, and complex class having two private data member int r and i. R is a data member for real part and I is a data member for imaginary part. Then class having one public member function void get with void get function input the value of R and I. Then class having the operator function. Now, how to define operator function? Return type. Name of the class is complex. Complex is a return type. Then operator keyword. Then operator symbol. Then name of the class and name of the object. then inside the body of operator function create the object of class t is the object of complex class now t dot r is equal to r plus obj dot r then t dot i is equal to i plus obj dot i now in this case return type is class if the return type is class then this function return objects then class having the display function that display the addition of two complex numbers object of complex class is created c1 and c2 are the object of complex class now c1 dot get input first complex number get function call input complex number 1 then c2 dot get input complex number 2 then call the operator function plus C3 is equal to C1 plus C2. With the help of operator function, we can perform operation on object. Then finally, we have to call display function. The result is stored in object three, C3 dot display. Now run this code. After the execution of this code, first of all, c1 dot get get function call input the value of real part. 
and imaginary part then again get function call for second complex number c2 dot get input the real part and imaginary part then finally display function call then c3 is equal to c1 plus c2 t dot r is equal to r real part is 5 plus obj dot r is 6 6 plus 5 11 t dot i is equal to i is 7 plus obj dot i is 8 7 plus 8 15 In this code, first of all, we have two private data members. Then get function is there to take inputs. Then after that, we have used binary operator plus to overload. Then inside the definition of operator function, create the object. T is the object of complex class then assign values to the object then after that we have a display function that display the complex number Then after that, input the value of complex number 1 and complex number 2. Then add to object. And finally we have to call the display function that display the result onto the screen. Now run this code, enter real part and imaginary part of first number, then enter the real part and imaginary part of second number, then finally result is real part 2 plus 3 5 and the imaginary part 4 plus 4 is 8. Similarly we can overload the minus operator. other code is same just change the symbol minus run this code enter the real part imaginary part of first complex number enter the real part and imaginary part of second complex number 3 minus 2 is 1 and 4 minus 3 is also 1 what is the need of operator overloading? For example, we have three objects C1, C2 and C3 of class complex type and here we are trying to add two objects C1 and C2 which are of user defined type that is of type class complex using plus operator this is not allowed because the addition operator plus is predefined to operate only on primitive data type like int float cat but here class complex is a user defined data type so the compiler generate an error run this code compiler generate an error no match for operator plus this is where the concept of operator overloading comes in now if the user want to make the operator plus to add to class object then the user has to redefine the meaning of plus operator such that it adds to class object
this is done with the help of operator overloading we have to define operator function inside the class with the help of plus operator we cannot perform addition on to object without defining operator function because plus operator works only on primitive data type now after the execution of this code the output is 30 plus operator work only on primitive data type right if we want to perform addition operation on object then we have to define operator function inside class this is all about the overloading of binary operator plus and minus